Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to automate console parameters from your DAW. I'm using Ableton Live, but you can use any DAW you prefer. We'll also need UA MIDI control, of course, and what we'll also need is a virtual MIDI port. On Mac, we already have one available. If we go to Audio MIDI Setup, then Window Show MIDI Studio, we're going to see it here. On some devices, it's called EAC Driver. And then we want to make sure it's online. On Windows, there is a pretty simple solution, which is called Loop MIDI. It's a free software. I'd recommend you grab it and you will have a virtual MIDI port in just a few minutes. And after you have that set up, you want to make sure it's enabled in your MIDI control and as well in your DAW. Specifically in Ableton, we want to make sure that the track is enabled for the output because we're going to send MIDI out from Ableton to UA MIDI control. So I have here some tracks and two examples where I want to send something to UA MIDI control to control console. I have my MIDI out set to the Mac virtual port and I have a different channel for each function and the input is set to no input. This is important because we want to avoid creating any loopbacks. So in the first example, I want to control the Moog filter here on my virtual channel. So I'm going to create a MIDI clip by double clicking, then going to the envelope tab, then MIDI control. And here we have a bunch of numbers. These are CC values. We can just choose any of them. And by pressing the B key on your keyboard, you can already draw some values. We can go and go to the off grid. So we have more fine grain detail and we can start drawing. And we're going to play this. And now we can map inside UA MIDI control this CC value. I want to map it to the cutoff. So we're going to press start and we see it uh, message has already been received. And if we open the Moog filter, you see it's already it's already moving. So if we turn on our track, we should hear the filter working. Let's make this lower. Make some nice mountains here. second example, I want to load entire console sessions when I change a track. So let's create a clip for each track. And uh, now instead of mapping a CC value, we can just use notes. So we have here an A, a G sharp and a G. Just make sure they're different. And now going to UMIDI control in the extra channel, we can see sessions and let's just map the first one by clicking play here then the second one and the third one come on and uh, let's just name them stop mapping and name them so we know what we're dealing with here. PCs and arrow. Let's also disable the loop because we all only want to trigger once. 
a nice little trick with sessions is that you can also, you also have the possibility to load a UA preset at the same time. So, for example, you have a preset for each for each uh, session, then they will both load at the same time. Let's take a look at how this works. So let's trigger AAA, then ABCD, arrow, again AAAA. So let's say we're playing a track and then changing, and we want to also change the session. This is maybe a, a common uh, use case for bands that want to change their effects and settings for each song. This could be useful for, for live playing, for example. But you can just get creative and find your own ideas on how to, how to use this. That's it from me. And um, if you have questions, please leave a comment or any suggestions on future tutorials, let me know. And um, we'll see each other next time.